Hey y'all, welcome back to the RC studio. So what I am wanting to work on is this. This is my desk that I like edit all my videos on. It's the desk that I actually sit at. And one of the main reasons that I kind of want to screw around with it is because Sean got a new job and he got like new monitors from his new job, which is pretty sweet. Um, so he had his like gaming monitor with nowhere to live and who is going to be starting a stream soon and who with that new stream is probably going to play games eventually don't look that close it's me i'm i'm the one it's me um so i have his monitor in here and i kind of want to see what we can do the desk is small but it's it's the only thing that can fit so it's not like i can get something bigger so we have to make this work so right at the bottom there I have my printer and some paper. I want to move those things. We also have like headphones and like some folders and things. I think all of that has got to move because I kind of want to make this whole desk like gaming computer section. And this also gives me the chance to actually set up my new keyboard that I still haven't been using. New keyboard. Oh my god, like why are printers so heavy? What is even in here? It's rocks. My like shipping stuff. You know, the wrap stuff and my scale. Printer could totally fit in this slot. I just hate, I hate printers. I mean, everybody does, right? <laughs> They're universally hated. And they're huge and clunky and stupid. Printer has found a new home. Okay, now that all that is organized better, we will come back over here. All right, I was thinking of taking this shelf off to make room for hopefully like a tower, a PC. All right, now we can work on the top. All I really wanna do is find a spot for the monitor. There we go. I feel like that looks pretty good. I mean, obviously, like, I'm not using the monitor or the keyboard yet, so they're just gonna be, like, tucked back like that. But once I get, like, the tower and the PC, I can go down there and then I can hook everything up. What I was also thinking I could do is, while I'm streaming, this is gonna be so nice to be able to, like, see what stream looks like. Because I feel like this is quite small, and then if I I'll probably have it up on my phone as well, so while I'm walking around. But this is going to be so nice to be able to, like, see, you know, what the camera sees. And then also, it's going to be great for gaming, which I'm so excited about. You guys are going to have to actually comment um, what you would want me to play. I feel like there's so many games that I have in mind. Like, I definitely want to play Cult of the Lamb with y'all because the that game has such a cool setup for like live streaming like you guys can like actually be in the game if you know what i'm talking about if you've seen somebody else play it but um yeah you guys can like enter to be part of like the cult and like your name will be in the game and then y'all get to like vote about like what happens to the cult in the game like it's just such a cool thing to play for a stream so we're definitely going to play that. I was also thinking of playing Subnautica uh, because that game is a true horror game for me. So I think that might be fun for y'all to watch me literally panic. I, I have such a fear of like deep water and like mostly what it is is like creatures within, okay? 
Nobody knows what the frick is down there. If you have you played Subnautica, it's in some of the things in that game are a nightmare. So I'm just excited to play that nightmare fuel game with you guys. I think that would be really fun. Yeah, if there's any game that you feel like would be really fun to watch or like have me on a stream, let me know. Uh, comment it down below. Maybe we'll play it at some point. Hey y'all, welcome to the next day. I have finished the like 3D part of this rug. I'm so happy and excited. Mostly happy and excited because um, I came this close to not having enough yarn because I got two of the like one pound, you know, the giant skeins of yarn that I normally get just for the moss sections and those I tufted with the three or the long pile tufting machine. So it takes a lot more yarn. Honestly, I feel like it takes double the yarn <laughs> because it's so long on the other side. And I was like, I don't want to buy three. I just don't because like yarn is so freaking expensive. And so I was like, I'm just going to risk it. I'm going to see if we can make it with two. And I have, I have like a small roll left, but still cutting it a little close. But yeah, all the 3D stuff is done. We just have the regular, like regular pop, regular <laughs> yeah regular pile right the regular tufting machine to do the grass all in between and I think I'm gonna save that for when we start uh, streaming next week I've been trying to think of what we'll do that I mean not like I don't have anything to do I have so much I could do I just want to make sure that what I what I save for streaming is like fun and exciting to watch. Like we'll probably mostly be um, tufting in the streams. Oh, a dog uh, in the streams. And so I kind of just wanted to make sure that we would only be using the regular pile because a long pile is very loud. And I feel like on stream, I don't know how fun that would be. Although with these really great, I'm so happy I got these. Um, with these mics, I can turn down, but I think I can do I can do that in OBS as well. Like I can lower how much OBS will allow through to you guys, if that makes any sense, um, through the mics. But I can also lower how much the mic will will pick up as well. So I'm hoping that like when we're tufting, I can kind of lower it a little bit so that it doesn't go crazy for you guys. So, uh, there were a few of you that said that you'll probably be working, but you'll be lurking. And, uh, in the chat, like during the stream, which I don't know, I'm fine. I think that's like, I kind of, I can't get over um, the fact that any of y'all are going to be there for the stream. I'm a little like, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. And I'm excited to have lurkers. <laughs> so anyway, with, with uh, some of y'all, with that in mind, of some of y'all like being at work and like listening to it while you're working. I want to make sure, I don't know why I'm so obsessed with the freaking audio, but I, I just want to make sure that the tufting machine doesn't go crazy. So anyway, we'll probably just be using the regular pile, and I'm thinking that we'll work on finishing this completely, which I'm, I'm so excited. Uh, and then we will also be working on and finishing the cherry rug, which I only really have like the leaves, the stems, and then like the little pink shiny sections on the cherries so we'll completely finish that we may also tuft these squares on stream i was thinking like you know you guys could like pick the colors of each square i definitely want to make sure that y'all are like super involved um during the stream like i don't want to just be like tufting at you i kind of want your opinions and like you guys can pick like which angles you kind of want to be watching at and we'll switch it up and you guys can like you know vote which angle you want to see what colors you kind of want to see on the squares i also ordered um some glue for you know the backing of this and i'm super excited um it's from all things effie and carolyn who is is the person behind all things effie um, said that it's like nearly odorless and so I'm just really excited and also that it's really tacky. Anyway, we'll talk about this more, but I think we're going to kind of edit 
how we back the rugs to eliminate having to use those like really smelly rug glues. And I want to eliminate having to use the spray glue for when I glue on the actual backing. I'm hoping that this glue that we get from All Things Effie um, is going to eliminate both of those situations where we can kind of put this new glue on the back. Anyway, I, I don't want to spoil it, but like as if that's a freaking surprise. Anyway, I've been working on the hat drop. The hat drop is coming very, very soon. I think I am 20 something hats in of 35. I did ruin one. Where is it actually? Here it is. Uh, I made the design way too big. Like you can see, I was like, oh, maybe, maybe someone would get it for like a kid. I suppose it would fit a kid, but it just, it looks kind of silly with how, how thick the folded part is. So this is what we have for hats right now. I'm so excited, you guys. I think this cloud design is by far one of my best. One of like my favorites, honestly. I love all of them completely with my entire heart and soul. I also really love this flower design. I feel like it's so interesting. Yeah, just look at this. The brown hats will be bought again because this color combo, ridiculous. And then there's this color combo, the brown, and then the pink. This color combo, the gray, and is this the pink or? Yes, yeah, this is the purpley pink one. <gasps> and then I also did um, black with that like champagne y color. This is ridiculous. This is so. I think I'm gonna make more in this. <gasps> Wait, I think I'm out of black. I might have a couple left. Ridiculous. I have one of these. <gasps> Maybe I should make another. At first I was like, I don't know. Wait, no. It's so cute. Maybe yeah, that was one of my bad days. <laughs> we have all those pink ones that you've already seen. Ooh, and then we have this. I think I only have one of these, so we'll see. We'll see who snags this one. Oh, and then the other day, I thought for the red, because I haven't done any of the red. I don't know why. I feel like both of these designs, I could do black and red for the flower design, but for the cloud, I don't know. What goes with red that we could do? But I did decide... For a couple of the red, I brought back this design. I love this design so much. The heart eyes skull with sparkles. So I have a couple of those. And then I also did this color combo, which is, hello, the gray with that like really pretty blue. The gray is still kind of dark because it's still drying. Anyway, uh, whoa, I'm nearing, I'm nearing the finish line for these hats. I kind of want to just like drop all of them all at once. So I've been, I've been really, I've been really going at it with the hats. <laughs> I'm so freaking excited. I'm so excited that so many of y'all will be able to get hats. Cause I feel like every time I do hats, it's like 10, 7, 35. That's pretty good. That's a good amount of hats. So since I'm kind of getting ready for that, I did some stamping of the cards yesterday. I'm so happy that we did this gold thing. It adds a step, but it's not really that much more time. And I think that it's the most worth step in the world. Let's do this one, actually. Wow, just gold, gold leaf raining down. Beautiful. Ah! Look at this. Oh my god. I can't get over how great of an idea this was. So cool. All right, I'm setting up for one of the last black beanies that I have. So we're all tightened on the frame. I've got my sticky stabilizer. I'm gonna go in with that champagne color because it is so cute. Although, I was considering it's really, really pretty blue color. It's kind of tealish. It's so pretty. I just don't know. It's too dark of a color to go against black. I mean, I guess on camera it looks like it. Should we go for it? I've only got two, and I like to do this in pairs, so I like to have two of each. So if we go for this with the cloud design, I'm going to have to do both like this. I don't know. This could be, like, so beautiful, right? 
I think I might try to go for this. Also, um, to the people that suggested to me or told me that you don't have to switch out the bobbin color to match the thread of like the top part of your design. Thank you. Thank you so, so, so much. Actually, I feel like I should take this moment um, to thank y'all so much for always like teaching me things. I feel like I started this channel, you know, like teaching y'all things, but I feel like every video when I'm like struggling with something or like I just like I don't understand something or, you know, I'm trying to get like a design to work or something, y'all always have suggestions and you always have like helpful comments and it's just, I'm so grateful. <laughs> I feel like that's such a cool thing that, I don't know, right? I wasn't expecting when I first started this. So thank you if you've ever commented something um, trying to help me out. Because probably 10 times out of 10, it, it does. It helps me out. We're going to go for this blue. I'm really hoping. I, I don't think I'm going to I don't think I'm going to regret it. I think this is going to be super, super pretty, especially against black. Okay, I think we're ready. All right, I don't think mistakes were made here. I think this is, oh my God, you're not, you're not even seeing it. Oh, look at that color. It's so beautiful. Oh. Oh my God. I'm so happy we did this. Yeah, this is gonna be so cute. Oh, I love it. It's gonna rinse off the, the stabilizer. Look at this beautiful color combo, okay? Look at that. Sorry, there's a little bit of gold flake. Look at that. That is, I'm so glad that we went for this. Oh my God. I love this color so much. Oh, this design is just, no. This design is just so beautiful. All right, I, think I may end this video here. I am hoping to get the hat drop up maybe next week. Well, next week's going to be pretty eventful. <laughs> maybe next week, maybe like the week after, but definitely within the next two weeks for sure. Okay, just as a reminder, <laughs> the stream is starting Wednesday of next week, April 10th at 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, so if you're in a different time zone, you will have to check what time that is for you. And I will be streaming on Twitch only, just at the start, I think. I You can now stream on both, whereas before you weren't able to. So now you can stream on both YouTube and Twitch. But I think for now, I'm just going to start on Twitch only. But yeah, just starting on Twitch, April 10th, 3 p.m. Eastern. I'm very excited. I'm just like, I'm so excited to be able to like answer y'all's questions or just chat in general live. Yeah, I don't know. It's just going to be so cool. <sighs> Deep breaths. It's going to be great. Maybe I'll also go live because usually my art drops are at 3 p.m. Eastern as well. So maybe I'll also go live for the hat drop. I wish that y'all could share your usernames with me when you make like a purchase on my website. So that way I could kind of like shout you out in the stream. I suppose you could also just say that you got something. <laughs> if you if you got one of the hats or whatever, you could say that at, like in, you know, in the chat in the stream. Uh, and I can thank you right then and there, which would be so, you know what? I think we're going to do that. I think that would be really magical. Uh, the only thing is I might cry because <laughs> I'm just emotional about literally everything having to do with, but I think that could be kind of a cute, a cute, fun, super cool thing uh, for me to be able to like, thank y'all right in the moment. How cute. Yeah, we're doing that. We're going to go live for the hat drop. I think, I think that would be really cute. And also another reminder, I think 
The stream schedule will be Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So if you don't catch the first stream on Wednesday, I will also stream same time, same place, um, on Friday. And then the Monday after that, the Wednesday after that, the Friday after that, unless I post about it and say that um, I can't make it or whatever. But yeah, I think that's what I want the schedule to be is Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So make sure you're there for every single one, not just this first one, okay? Make sure you're there for every single one. I need you. I need you. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and you can leave me a comment down below. What was the thing? Oh, what games you would want me to play. Make sure you comment what games you would want me to play, because that I'm also very excited for. I'm thinking that once we actually get the gaming situation set up, I'm thinking Fridays will be gaming days. So we'll tuft and work on like art stuff uh, Mondays and Wednesdays. And then Fridays will be like TGIF kind of streams, so we'll just kind of like have fun and play games together. I feel like that's that's a really great stream. I don't know. I, I would watch something like that. And also comment if you'll be there. I know you commented it that last, last video as well, but tell me again. <laughs> you know what? You can definitely tell me again. I'm so... so I'm so excited. <laughs> you can follow me in all of these places. It is usually at Artsy Madwoman besides Twitch and Tumblr, which is the Artsy Madwoman. If you search me on Twitch, you probably won't be able to find me right now because I never streamed before, so I probably won't pop up. Um, but there is a link down in the description that's like all of my links. That's what it's called. And in that, I will have all of my links. But one of those links is Twitch. So the all my links link down below will have my Twitch link for you. I love y'all to absolute death. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.